Hi, my name is Justin Lemon. I'm a technical sales consultant at Digital Light Innovations here in Austin, Texas. Today, I'm going to show you how to deploy the new DLP SuperSpeed V module kits. First and foremost, thank you very much for your purchase. We greatly appreciate your business. So at DLI, it's of course important for us to sell products, but it's just as much important that we support our existing customer base. So with that being said, this is part of our new DLI support series. It's a video series where we show you how to quickly deploy our products. We go through tutorials and other topics. So with that being said, let's first go through the package contents of the SuperSpeed kit. Make sure that you have the laptop or device that you're going to be running the SuperSpeed kit on with internet access because that's how we'll download the software and drivers. And also make sure to have a small screwdriver here for assembling the kit. So when you open your kit, you're going to see a few different things. Um, first of all, you have your USB 3.0 cable. You have a 5 volt power supply, and that comes with a power cable as well. Uh, you also have your 5 inch flex cable, so there are two mounting brackets here. Now the thing is, is that with a 1080p DMD, it uses two flex cables. So we're only working with the XGA today. However, when I do a close-up of the uh, control board, you can see how you would connect a 1080p kit. All right, so we've got the cable, power supply, flex cable. And what we have here is the 0.7 XGA DMD. So the DMD is going to come already assembled on the DMD board with the mounting hardware, just like you see here. So. 0.7 inch XGA, one flex cable, and then you have, like I just showed you, the 0.95 1080p, which uses two flex cables. And then, of course, we have our super speed control board here. So let's go ahead and zoom in. I want to take a closer look at some other things. So here's the super speed apps FPGA controller board. Uh, this is a five inch flex cable and we're going to connect it to the XGA specific channel here. So the board will say XGA right there and that's the channel that we're going to want to connect it to. The 1080p will connect to both channels there. So let's go ahead and connect this. Let's screw the screws in here. Make sure the backer plate's on. Alright, so we'll get the first one here and the second screw. And of course, make sure the DMD end is on the side opposite of the controller board where the DMD board will connect here in just a minute. So now let's connect the DMD board to the flex cable. Make sure you connect it to the side that says DMD end. So here's the 0.7 XGA DMD board. So we're going to connect that just like we did on the controller board but to the uh, DMD board itself here. So there's the backer plate that we're going to want to connect. Alright, so now let's go ahead and screw in these two screws. And uh, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, you don't want to over tighten the screws. Make sure they're tight, but don't over tighten it by any means. Alright, so let's make sure they're good and tight, but not too tight. So now that we have the super speed kit assembled, what we're going to do is connect the controller board to the PC or device you're going to use to drive it. So make sure you have your USB 3.0 cable handy as well as your power supply and power cable. What we're going to do first is connect the USB 3.0 end on the control board here to uh, the PC or device you're going to use to drive it. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the power. So make sure you have internet access and go ahead and just jump on the PC you're going to work with. So now that we have our PC on, uh, let's go ahead and download the software. It's going to be sent via an email after you make your purchase, uh, so you'll see it there. Or you can always type it in manually, and there is the link right there. Uh, it's also in the uh, documentation. So let's go ahead and download the software. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna copy paste the link up here, so you can see if you wanted to manually do it. That's no problem. So let's go ahead and hit enter. All right, so I'm going to save it somewhere where I'll remember. All right, 
let's see, and hit save. Now let's go ahead and run through the quick install wizard. So it's going to say it's verifying the contents of the setup package and should just take a second. All right, here we go. So welcome to the installation wizard. What we're going to want to do is you know, click through here, 64, 32-bit, whatever, uh, whatever PC you have. Click Next. Make sure it's saved in the right spot. Next. All right, so now it's going to go through the installation wizard. In the meantime, let's pull up that quick start guide that came with the super speed documentation. It's a really good resource. All right, so now it's going to ask if you want to install the drivers. So, of course, click install, and it might ask you again. So, let's see, let's click this always trust software box here, install. All right, so we've successfully completed the installation wizard. So, hit finish. Now that we have the software installed, Let's go ahead and click on the start button here. And right under ALP 4.3, there will be something that says Easy Proj. Go ahead and open that up. What we're going to do is deploy the board and install the drivers here. This is a really good point to pull up the quick guide reference as far as the step-by-step uh, -step deployment uh, through the Easy Proj interface here. The device, it's already connected to the PC via the USB. So power that up real quick. All right, so if we click the ALOC button or A-L-L-O-C, it's going to search for a free ALP device, and then you'll see it starts installing the device driver software. So let that install real quick. All right, so it looked for the V4395 serial number and went ahead and initialized the board, and you can see where it says installing drivers, and you can go to the device manager to make sure it installed properly. So if we scroll down here to the very bottom. Violux out-based device, there we go. All right, so pull up the Easy Proj interface again here. All right, it says the device is ready to use. Violux out bootloader 4.3 and out-based device ready to use. Okay, so we are good to go and it'll show your serial number right there. So you have all these, it's more of like a demo GUI just to get an idea of how to operate uh, the super speed. So I'm just gonna pull in a couple patterns that I've made. Uh, you can see you can make an easy sequence, but really, like I said, it's just a demo GUI. So enjoy making your own application there. All right, so we have successfully deployed our new super speed DLPV module. So make sure to hit the subscribe button below. If you have any follow-up questions, please don't hesitate to shoot us an email to support at dlinnovations.com. Also, we just rolled out our new DL Ideas and DLI Deep Dives video series, which focuses on our product catalog, as well as current events and developments in the world of DLP and emerging applications using this technology. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time.